So today we're going to talk about the technique of crocheting to attach small other pieces. Um, I'm going to use mainly small circles, but this also applies to whole arms. And just imagine that this is a whole arm with a row of stitches at the top. So this technique applies to the pixie pattern, the moon sprite pattern. Um, it'll apply to a number of upcoming patterns. Uh, like the curvy mermaids and more. So it's a very simple way of taking a piece that you crocheted and incorporating it into your work without sewing. So it really saves time and effort. Um, you just have to sort of wrap your brain around how it works and hopefully we'll get through that this time. So I've started this random piece. I'm going to make a couple of single crochets, and then I'm going to attach this larger circle. So to do that, um, if there were an indicated marked stitch to use to attach it, I would insert the hook through that indicated marked stitch first, from the inside or wrong side of the work to the outside or right side of the work. Then I'm going to insert the hook through the outside right side of the current work to the inside wrong side of the current work. So now your hook is through both pieces at the same time. I'm going to yarn over, pull up, and complete a single crochet. Now the two pieces are linked together. Then I'm going to do that in the next available stitch on both pieces as well. Insert your hook first through the wrong side inside of your work to the outside right side and then in through the right side outside of your current piece to the inside wrong side of your current piece and complete a single crochet. Now there are two stitches holding these two pieces together. I'm going to do that again with the smaller, smaller circle that I have here just to show you how I would attach that and then I'm going to show you what the next row of crochet might look like in a pattern. So again, if it says it could be any stitch, then what I usually like to insert my hook into in any stitch is the first stitch of the row that you just completed. So it's the same stitch that you slip stitched into and insert it from the wrong side inside of the work to the outside right side and then in through the next available stitch outside right side to inside wrong side and complete a single crochet and you can do that again in the next stitch but what you always have to be aware of is you do not want to stitch into the slip stitch chain one join space so you need to make sure that your next stitch on the small piece you insert into a real stitch and not the slip stitch chain one join space. One of the ways to keep track of that is to count your stitches. We already worked into this one. Here's one, two, three, four, and five, and this had been a circle of six. So this is the sixth stitch, and this is lying to you. That's the slip stitch chain one join space. We want to skip that. So we insert from the wrong side inside to the right side outside and then again into the next available stitch and complete a single crochet. And then we finish up this row. And now I have these two little circles attached to my work without having to sew them which is nice. So in the following row, what I'll be doing is, unless otherwise instructed to do so, I will be ignoring the joining stitches that we used to connect. So these two stitches that we used to connect to this cer little circle, I'll be ignoring those. And instead, I will be working around the outside edge of this circle. That is now part of my current row. Same for this little circle. I will be ignoring the two single crochets we used to attach 
this tiny circle to the larger work and I will be working around the outside edge of this tiny circle in all available stitches. So on this one, I have four available stitches. And on this one, I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, looks like eight stitches I should have available on this one. So I'm going to start my new row chain one starting in the same stitch that I slip stitched into one two three and now I've reached that first circle I'm going to ignore that single crochet that we used to attach it and I'm going to work into the first available stitch on this little circle that is not this stitch this stitch was one the one that we used to attach it to the larger work so I'm going to start in the first available stitch and I'm inserting the hook right side to wrong side now because it is part of my current work. So right side to wrong side, I'm completing stitches all the way around the edge of this larger circle as it is part of my work now and I am skipping the slip stitch chain one join space because that is not a stitch. And now I have crocheted around the outside edge of that. And now I will continue into the next available stitch again, skipping the two single crochets that we use to attach this small circle and working into the next available stitch. And now we have a row around the edge of that piece that we crocheted into the work. And now you will continue to crochet around that outside edge, incorporating this and this shape into your work without needing to sew it to attach. Now I'll show you the smaller circle. So again I'm going to skip this and this stitch because that's what we used to attach this little circle. I'm going to be working from the right side to the wrong side, so I'm going to insert my hook into the first available stitch on the small circle piece from the outside right side to the inside wrong side, yarn over, complete a single crochet, and work around all four available stitches to do that. Now sometimes, sometimes I write in to make a decrease into this last available stitch. So you would start a decrease here and then you will insert your hook into the next available stitch and complete a decrease like that. And that spans the last available stitch on this small piece to the first available stitch on the larger work. And you can do that. Sometimes I ask that you complete a decrease into the same stitch you used to attach the small piece you're working into. In that case, you would work into this last of the two stitches you use to attach this small circle. So I would work into that to complete a decrease and then keep going. It all depends on how I need that shape to look. And so now we have this really funky looking alien shape for no reason other than to share with you this concept of attaching small circles to your work without needing to weave in all these pesky ends or sew them to attach. I hope that helped.